have now come to the other side of the world, to Florida, to a place called the Venus Project, to meet a man who has a very clear vision of what he thinks the future of cities should look like. And he's building examples of them right here in this subtropical forest with homes just like that. Jacques Fresco's background as an industrial designer, social engineering guru and architect have led the 98-year-old futurist to be dubbed a modern-day da Vinci. He has a long-held theory for a more sustainable society and his city designs are like nothing we currently have in place. Technically, how difficult is it to build these homes? Well, we would prefabricate like automobiles. We'll build homes like automobiles on production lines, not carpenters and hammer and nails. That's okay 50 years ago, but no longer adequate. And uh, in order to make it work economically, we build one eighth of the system and then we reproduce it and we get a circle. Instead of designing each building a different size, a different shape, the windows are all different, the doors are different, and you waste a lot of resources. So the circular city is crucial. Yes. When you do a linear city, when you get to the end, you have to drive back to where you started from. In the circular city, you make one trip and you come back to where you started. You make your city uniform, intelligently uniform, meaning it serves the purpose for which it was designed. Why do you think that it hasn't been adopted? Well, when you have to remember when Edison made the electric light, the public didn't know what it was. Later on, the public learned about it and ordered lights. Very few things are made to meet human needs. They're made to make a profit. And if your product doesn't make a profit, it won't sell. Time to find out more about Jacques' theories and get a tour of the Venus Project. The philosophy and the designs that Jacques comes up with is to support a resource-based economy where everyone, everyone on Earth is fed, housed and clothed and has a very high standard of living because of our technology today. This is possible. So it's, the buildings are very efficient, very clean. They're made to go together very quickly, be pulled off a mold with the furniture built in so everybody can live well, ultimately. So it's more than a building. It's, the building is really just a statement of some underlying philosophy yes. about how to run the world. Yes, absolutely. 